Hi, Andreas here. I am always on the lookout for new innovation together with our customers. A few weeks ago I had an NFC chip implanted, injected into my hand just beneath the skin. While I'm certainly not the first person to have an NFC implant, in this video I am probably the first person to pass through an airport, through security, through lounge registration, uh, through the gate to the aircraft to board a flight um, with only the NFC chip. So I had no boarding pass uh, physical with me uh, during this trip. I am also sharing a conversation I had with Massimo Pascotto, who works with innovation at Scandinavian Airlines about this experiment. At the end of the video, um, I am also sharing some footage from the actual procedure of the implant and for that part of the video I would say that some viewer discretion is actually advised. So, enjoy! My name is Massimo Pascotto, working here um, at SAS uh, within innovation in, uh, in digital, and I'm here today with uh, Andreas Sjöström, uh, and I'm head of digital at Social T. Awesome. So, where are we now, Andreas? And why are we here well, on Sunday, Sunday morning? morning. Yeah, exactly. Sunday morning, uh, up early, and uh, I'm off to Paris. Uh, we are meeting at the nice SAS lounge here at Terminal 5, and today we are making a pretty interesting experience on how to pass through the airport as quickly as possible. Fantastic. And, uh, and you know, and speaking of which, I, re uh, I remember, you know, we started uh, introducing um, uh, boarding pass through the usage of kiosk years ago, which mm. was uh, innovative. You didn't need to go to a desk and, and, and get a boarding pass. And then we started uh, discussing about unprinted boarding pass. So you, you have a printer home and you can print the boarding pass. Mm. And a few years ago, we were actually uh, the pioneers in using NFC technology, near fields uh, communication. You mean the, 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 sticker. the sticker that exactly. you put on the back on, on, of your phone exactly. and you can use that as the a boarding pass? pass. Yeah. And it was pretty, uh, pretty uh, awesome experience because you, 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 know, you didn't have to, uh, you know, to, to do pretty much anything. You just mm. beam at the phone on top of the reader and you yeah. were just going through security. But today we went on an extra step, an extra mile, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, a few weeks ago I, I had an NFC implant, so I actually injected or I had injected a, um, an implant, a small chip in my hand and uh, we um, put my Eurobonus number um, into the chip and uh, today when I passed through security and the lounge registration I, I just waved my hand over the reader and, and I could pass through. So no more boarding pass, no more picking up the phone, just you, passing through. You don't need to care about batteries, right? Or no, whatever. exactly. So how deep is the, the, the implant? I mean, it's just, uh, uh, just beneath the skin so you can actually feel it if you, if you touch it. Yeah. Okay. What's your expectation? Do you, do you, are we expecting passengers to come to us now and to say, can you please write the Eurobonus no. number into? I don't think so. Uh, I, I Selected th one, maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, I think that um, it's interesting uh, to experiment and see where things are going. Obviously, there are some interesting trends in the market with sensors and app phones, with you know counting steps you take and your pulse, etc. And I think this is a, a step uh, of experimentation. Um, in the future, we may have uh, uh, things that you can put on top of the skin yeah, instead, yeah. instead of going into. But uh, just to you know, find out what are the mm. scenarios and, and how does mm. it work is really key, I think. I think here is the point is the, like you don't need anything to mm. be identified, to be recognized, to go through a touch point, whether it's a security or a lounge or a gate, right? right? So that's, I think that's the breakthrough, really, that you don't need to care, to care about to carry a boarding pass or to carry a device mm. or to have batteries or whatever. Mm. Exactly. And, and from an implant perspective, uh, I mean, uh, we are really used to, uh, all, I think, already accepting yeah. uh, the idea of an implant with a pacemaker, yeah. uh, of yeah. course, and then uh, with the sensors now, uh, digital electronic sensors becoming uh, smaller and smaller, and it becomes uh, more f you know, common that you yeah. uh, track uh, your fitness, your health, yeah. uh, how you move around with sensors in the app phone or whatever. I think um, uh, in, the, in the future, I think it's going to be more 
common to to actually put um, electronics and uh, digital it's, it's things as part of your body, as right? pa- part of your body. And um, in innovation, you are in innovation in SaaS, and I'm innovation in society. Um, I, I think a, a key part in innovation is actually to um, to be part of the experimentation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. And how, just quickly, how was the experience of actually, we, we, we didn't want to say on purpose to the security guys in the lounge just to yeah. test uh, their reactions to this, but how, how did you feel yourself as a yeah. passenger, you know, and, and them, you know, the reaction to them yeah. of you passing just by beaming? <laughs> well, uh, the, the first it was a surprise, mm. uh, asking how did you do that, because I obviously just waved my hand <laughs> over the reader, and uh, uh, I showed the, the security officer my my implant and she touched it uh, okay, here okay, so okay. She, okay you have an implant and <laughs> and then she asked me do you think it's worth it <laughs> and uh, what was yeah, your answer uh, well i'm experimenting so it's really worth it of course <laughs> that's, yes. that's good yeah but uh, thank you andres it was really interesting and uh, now we will be boarding you will be actually the very first passenger yeah. probably ever boarding mm. a plane with an implant right yes today. so uh, it's going to be uh, um, a flight uh, to paris and yeah. uh, we're we're boarding no paper printed boarding pass Fantastic. and no no app or stickers uh, inside of the helmet. Fantastic. Yeah? Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so to go through the procedure itself, um, you first need um, an installation kit. Um, I used a kit from a company called dangerousthings.com. Um, and if you want, you can go and check out a TED talk uh, given by the founder of Dangerous Things, Amal Grafstra, uh, in which he explains why he uh, founded the company and what it's about. Um, inside of this uh, sterilized bag, um, you will find a syringe. And in the syringe, I have one open here, in the syringe, um, which is sterilized, of course. Um, the, um, the NFC chip is um, inside of this tube and you inject it, implant it by going under the skin uh, and, and pushing in the chip in under the skin. Um, what I did before I had my implant uh, was that I put some topical um, Embla cream which takes of some of the pain, in fact all of it, I didn't feel any pain, um, and I had that for an hour before the implant, and uh, this is uh, how the implant went. Okay, so as you can see, um, my skin is pinched up a little bit, um, so it's easier to get the chip under the skin. The syringe is uh, injected, and um, of course this is a medical professional who performs the procedure. Normally there is no bleeding uh, involved. Uh, you will see here at the end that uh, there is a little bleeding uh, happening here, but it's taken care of and uh, everything went very well. <laughs> 